Skunks are mammals in the family Mephididae. They are known for their ability to spray a liquid with a strong, unpleasant scent from their anal glands. Different species of skunk vary in appearance from black and white to brown, cream or ginger colored, but all have warning coloration. While related to polecats and other members of the weasel family, skunks have as their closest relatives the old world stink badgers. In southern United States dialect, the term polecat is sometimes used as a colloquial nickname for a skunk, even though polecats are only distantly related to skunks. As a verb, skunk is used to describe the act of overwhelmingly defeating an opponent in a game or competition. Skunk is also used to refer to certain strong-smelling strains of marijuana whose smell has been compared to that of a skunk's spray. Skunk species vary in size from about 15.6 to 37 in, 40 to 94 centimeters, long and in weight from about 1.1 pounds 0.50 kilograms, spotted skunks, to 18 pounds 8.2 kilograms, hognosed skunks. They have moderately elongated bodies with relatively short, well-muscled legs and long front claws for digging. They have five toes on each foot. Although the most common fur color is black and white, some skunks are brown or gray and a few are cream colored. All skunks are striped, even from birth. They may have a single thick stripe across the back and tail, two thinner stripes, or a series of white spots and broken stripes, in the case of the spotted skunk. Skunks are crepuscular and solitary animals when not breeding, though in the colder parts of their range, they may gather in communal dens for warmth. During the day they shelter in burrows, which they can dig with their powerful front claws. Males and females occupy overlapping home ranges through the greater part of the year, typically 2 to 4 square kilometers, 0.77 to 1.54 square miles, for females and up to 20 square kilometers 7.7 .7 square miles for males. Skunks are not true hibernators in the winter, but do den up for extended periods of time. However, they remain generally inactive and feed rarely, going through a dormant stage. Over winter, multiple females, as many as 12, huddle together, males often den alone. Often, the same winter den is repeatedly used. Although they have excellent senses of smell and hearing, they have poor vision, being unable to see objects more than about 3 meters 10 feet away, making them vulnerable to death by road. Traffic. They are short-lived, their lifespan in the wild can reach 7 years, with most living only up to a year. In captivity, they may live for up to 10 years. Skunks are omnivorous, eating both plant and animal material and changing their diets as the seasons change. They eat insects, larvae, earthworms, grubs, rodents, lizards, salamanders, frogs, snakes, birds, moles, and eggs. They also commonly eat berries, roots, leaves, grasses, fungi and nuts. In settled areas, skunks also seek garbage left by humans. Less often, skunks may be found acting as scavengers, eating bird and rodent carcasses left by cats or other animals. Pet owners, particularly those of cats, may experience a skunk finding its way into a garage or basement where pet food is kept. Skunks commonly dig holes in lawns in search of grubs and worms. Skunks are one of the primary predators of the honeybee, relying on their thick fur to protect them from stings. The skunk scratches at the front of the beehive and eats the guard bees that come out to investigate. Mother skunks are known to teach this behavior to their young. Skunks are notorious for their anal scent glands, which they can use as a defensive weapon. They are similar to, though much more developed than, the glands found in species of the family Mustlidae. Skunks have two glands, one on each side of the anus. These glands produce the skunk's spray, which is a mixture of sulfur-containing chemicals such as thiols, traditionally called mercaptans, which have an offensive odor. The thiols also make their spray highly flammable. A skunk's spray is powerful enough to ward off bears and other potential attackers. Muscles located next to the scent glands allow them to spray with a high degree of accuracy, as far as 3 meters 10 feet. The spray can also cause irritation and even temporary blindness, and is sufficiently powerful to be detected by a human nose up to 5.6 kilometers, 3.5 miles, downwind citation needed their chemical defenses. Effective, as illustrated by this extract from Charles Darwin's 1839 book The Voyage of the Beagle, we saw also a couple of Zorillos, or skunks odious animals, which are far from uncommon. In general appearance, the Zorillo resembles a polecat, but it is rather larger and much thicker in proportion. 
Conscious of its power, it roams by day about the open plain and fears neither dog nor man. If a dog is urged to the attack, its courage is instantly checked by a few drops of the fetid oil, which brings on violent sickness and running at the nose. Whatever is once polluted by it, is forever useless. Azara says the smell can be perceived at a league distance, more than once, when entering the harbor of Monte Video, the wind being offshore, we have perceived the odor on board the Beagle. Certain it is, that every animal most willingly makes room for the Zorolo. Skunks carry just enough of the chemical for five or six successive sprays, about 15 cubic centimeters, and require up to 10 days to produce another supply. Their bold black and white coloration makes their appearance memorable. It is to a skunk's advantage to warn possible predators off without expending scent, black and white. Apisematic warning coloration aside, threatened skunks will go through an elaborate routine of hisses, foot stamping, and tail high diamatic or threat postures before resorting to spraying. Skunks usually do not spray other skunks, except among males in the mating season. If they fight over den space in autumn, they do so with teeth and claws. Most predators of the Americas, such as wolves, foxes, and badgers, seldom attack skunks, presumably out of fear of being sprayed. The exceptions are reckless predators whose attacks fail once they are sprayed, dogs, and the great horned owl, which is the skunk's only regular predator. In one case, the remains of 57 striped skunks were found in a single great horned owl nest. Skunks are common in suburban areas. Frequent encounters with dogs and other domestic animals, and the release of the odor when a skunk is run over, have led to many misconceptions about the removal of skunk odor, including the pervasive idea that tomato juice will neutralize the odor. These household remedies are ineffective. The Humane Society of the United States recommends treating dogs using a mixture of dilute hydrogen peroxide, 3%, baking soda, and dishwashing. Liquid. Skunk spray is composed mainly of three low molecular weight thiol compounds, E. 2 butene one thiol 3 methyl one butanethyl and 2 quinoline methanethyol as well as acetate thioesters of these. These compounds are detectable by the human nose at concentrations of only 11.3 parts per billion. It is rare for a healthy skunk to bite a human, though a tame skunk whose scent glands have been removed, usually on behalf of those who will keep it as a pet, may defend itself by biting. There are, however, few recorded incidents of skunks biting humans. Skunk bites in humans can result in infection with the rabies virus, reflecting the virus's evolutionary strategy of, in effect, promoting its spread via the so-called mad dog syndrome. The Centers for Disease Control CDC, recorded 1,494 cases of rabies in skunks in the United States for the year 2006 about 21.5% of reported cases in all species. Skunks in fact are less prominent than raccoons as vectors of rabies. However, this varies regionally in the United States, with raccoons dominating along the Atlantic coast and the eastern Gulf of Mexico, while skunks instead predominate throughout the Midwest, including the western Gulf, and in California. Mephitis Mephitis, the striped skunk, is the most social skunk and the one most commonly kept as a pet. In the US, skunks can legally be kept as pets in 17 states. When a skunk is kept as a pet, its scent glands are often surgically removed. In the UK, skunks can be kept as pets, but the Animal Welfare Act 2006 made it illegal to remove their scent glands.